Now, I'm often asked if I actually cook every day. And truth be known, I do and I don't. Come spring, I definitely don't. In the winter, when I get involved in other activities, I don't like to cook either because sometimes after a long day, I just don't feel like it. So having said that, what I really like to do is make food for leftovers and some of the best ones are casserole-like stuff in which I include lasagna in that. So being more drawn to vegetables, let's make some eggplant lasagna. It's pretty simple and it's really good. And I'm going to make a small dish with just one eggplant. I'm going to put this on a sheet tray with some olive oil on it and we're going to put it in a 400 oven just until it's softened up a little bit. I happen to have some homemade pasta from the last time I made some. I always like to keep that in the freezer and it's nice to have the homemade noodles because you can roll them out nice and thin and get a lot of layers in here. We're going to layer this up with some ricotta, some mozzarella, some pecorino, and a little bit of tomato. And it's going to be quite good. Now what I do is oil the pan and then I drag the eggplant through and then onto the sheet tray it goes, spreading it out evenly. So now we have a little bit of extra virgin olive oil because I like the flavor and eggplant acts as a sponge. Now what I'm going to do is just drizzle a little bit extra over the top and off this will go to a 400 oven for probably about five seven minutes something like that just until they're softened. Well the eggplant are out of the oven they're just nice and soft and tender they only took about seven minutes and they've absorbed, these are like sponges, they absorbed all the oil on the tray. And now what we're going to do is start the lasagna. I have, I like to go deep, you could put this on a loaf pan too, but for all intent and purpose I'm going to put it in a little 8 inch square bake pan. And from the pasta that we made a couple days ago, I'm going to cut this piece in four. Dredge it in flour. Wait, first what I have to do, I'm going to put a little bit of my tomatoes. We're going to make this a very simple eggplant lasagna. I'm going to put some tomato on the bottom of the pan. You could use tomato sauce. What I had done last year when I uh, canned my tomatoes is I put a sprig of basil in with the tomatoes. It's heaven. It's really good. You wouldn't think it would add that much, but it does. Okay, I need my glasses so I can see. All right, so I'm starting the roller on one. I dusted the piece of pasta in flour, and I'm gonna run this through a couple times on one. Then, we're gonna go down to two, and then we're gonna go to three. It's starting to stick a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of flour. Not much, just a little. Then we're going to go to four. And then we're going to go to five. Now, this is nice and thin, and this is going to make a wonderful, wonderful lasagna. So the object is to layer this up a few times, like hopefully I'll get five layers in here, we'll see. Usually I like to make these a little deeper, but all right, so I'm putting it right on top of the sauce. And then that. Okay, now we'll put some eggplant. Now I had a few mushrooms from the shepherd's pie that I was working on. Another wonderful casserole. So there was only about four mushrooms. I don't want to waste them. So I'm also putting a few mushrooms layered in with this. Then we're going to put some 
ricotta. Whole milk ricotta, very important. Don't use the skim milk, it's really not worth it. In my opinion, use whole milk. And if you ever want something to do, make your own. Oh my God, get some good milk, make your own. And that's really good. So we've got the eggplant mushrooms, the ricotta, then a little bit of mozzarella. And a mozzarella is one of the cheeses that I do like to buy grated because it just won't go through my grater. It gums it up. And unfortunately, if you want grated mozzarella, you need to buy it that way. Otherwise, you could use fresh whole milk and, and slice it and layer it in. Okay, then I want to add a little bit of pecorino, but you could also use parmesan. And this should be ground at the time you're going to use it too. Okay, then we're going to put more tomato on the top. Smooth that over. I like to press it down a little bit. After the first layer, just keep repeating the layers until your dish is full. I'm stepping the video up because you don't need to watch that three times rolling it through. But anyway, it's really good. Pack it down in the middle so that you get a nice even distribution of everything. And you can, so make sure you can get more layers in there. And once you get to the top, top it with the pasta, tomato, cheeses, and you're all set. All right, there we have a nice, beautiful pan of eggplant with a little mushroom lasagna and three cheeses. And it's going to go to a 400 oven. Actually, I think this is going to go to a 350 oven for about 20 minutes just to get the heat in there. And then I'll finish it in a 400 oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes or until it gets nice and golden. I like my lasagnas nice and golden on top. So we'll revisit this in about 45 minutes and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's going to be done. Doesn't that look good? You've got the lasagna, nice golden brown, topped with a little chopped parsley. I let it set before I cut it. And I packed some for some friends across the street for a thank you. Enjoy that and like and subscribe my channel. I do hope you try that recipe.